drowned world. There are two ways to enter the world of the drowned. The first is you drop into deep water and while you're beneath it, do a lot of breathing. That will always help you enter drowned world number one. The other way is a bit more subtle, if not sinister. It begins when you stand online at the post office. First you hear the whispers, what did you expect, boy, the time, you know what I mean. Then some guy asks you to watch his place online where he goes and urinates in the corner in search of a particular form he has to fill out. You're always the one the urine stream aims at as it runs across a tilted post office floor. Then you hit the sunshine two hours later and your feet stink, but they don't stink from the usual source, you. It's from this guy's piss. Now, one of the two things that can happen here, you can either go dancing in the midnight city streets alone to the music in your head until the guy's piss has all been rubbed away and the only stench is from your sweat and the two-week-old socks you dug out of the laundry or you find yourself in the red shoes with some sort of Maura Shearer and you're heading for the door, whoever she is, and maybe you have to be thrown out of a hundred doors before you find her. But she's out there, and her smell is still on your sneaks. You are in them like a hound dog is in a scent, woofing and grunting and slobbering and dashing this way and that until he finds his way out of the scent and into its source. But as much as you'd like to be inside the source of all that urine smell, you don't find anything but a restraining order from a 78-year-old bag, blind bag lady. But that's just the beginning. When you're eating your third fast food meal of the week, and I don't mean deli stuff, I'm talking hardcore here, Mickey D's, the works, maybe even Arby's, it all begins. The gas starts in your toes and begins to work its way upward, but an ethereal form of that same gas is expanding in your brain at the very same moment, and suddenly your dishpan toes are bloated, and farts escape from under the toenails, and you're running, running, there's no breath, you're running from your breath, and then you know drowning method number two. <laughs> this is uh, the only... Uh, non-Mexico poem in my uh, collection of Mexico poems, but uh, I'm going to read it. It's called Volunteer. They said, don't volunteer, find a paying job. I said, I was born to help. They said, help us. I said, you don't need help. They said, charity begins at home. Charity, oh, charity. How many definitions do they know? I finished a quote for them and goes into the world. Charity begins at home and goes into the world. But maybe they were saying, wait, there's no charity here. You have to build it first, then go into the world. I said, too late. I said that it was in my immigrant genes to help. They said I was crazy. They didn't come here to be poor. I said, but we're not poor. Maybe I will be poor. Maybe I won't. They said it's not why they came here from over there. I said, but you were wrong. The name of our native town mandates our altruism. They went bug-eyed. I said, we came from San Donato. Oh, so St. Donate. They said, no, it's Donato. I said, okay, donate too. They shook their heads and walked away. And this is, uh, I bumped my head on the blues when I woke up the other day. And I wrote this song, it's called, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to sing it. It's called Non-Specific Blues. Gonna find me a pointy-toed woman So tired of the flat-footed kind Ooh, Gonna find me a pointy-toed woman So tired of the flat-footed kind Gonna watch her deary air moving Kinda sway and make me lose my mind Give me a pointed toe walking woman and never the flat footed kind, oh yeah. Watch her walk into McDonald's and once again lose my easy to lose mind. Oh, diddy da da. Mrs. One and Two Dollar Hamburger Lady, 50 billion sold. Mrs. One and Two Dollar Hamburger Lady. 50 billion sold. Well, you'll, make, you'll meet my B grade A, but your bun's at least 100 years old. Oh, Baba Wawa, do me, do me, every day. Come back, come back to daddy with your happy meal in tow. 
Daddy. Come back, come back to Daddy with your happy meal in tow. Come back home, hack up, back home to your loving daddy with your sweet and greasy dripping happy meal and so then just put your grub on papa's table and watch my dad gum hoopity hoop old man appetite grow. Thank you. Yeah.